morning and uh, happy Christmas to one and all. Um, this is Crypto Lion again for another video. Um, <coughs> I um, thought I'd do something different today. Well, it's not that different from other YouTubers, but um, my opinion on cloud mining or um, mining that you need to pay for. Um, whether you're new to crypto, uh, you've been in the game, or you're thinking about paying for cloud mining, um, I want to give my opinion on whether cloud mining in 2019 is worth the money and do you get your return. Now before we start, as usual, just everything I'm going to talk about is my opinion. This is not financial advice. Please do your own research um, and let's crack on. So I have used cloud mining before. <clears throat> I um, originally thought it would be quite profitable. Um, and I think one of the things we're going to go through here is maybe not hidden costs, but costs that you know mining companies don't really illustrate properly on their website and potentially um, can be misleading or um, lack of information may not make you make a good judgment. So what's cloud mining? So basically the idea is you pay someone to mine on your behalf. So you pay them a... Um, a, a fixed contract, whether it be a yearly contract, a 24 month contract, or a lifetime contract, and obviously lifetime has an asterisk on it. Um, and you pay up front, and then they mine for you, and uh, depending on what contract you have, they will take a portion for mining fees, like a uh, percentage for pool mining, and also uh, electricity costs. So, one of the first companies, and again, I'll reiterate, nobody, no company I'm going to talk about has paid me to, to give a review. This is my opinion ba based on my research and my experience. So the first company that um, I've looked at and I've actually purchased mining is Genesis Mining. <clears throat> so they offer um, a bunch, bunch of contracts, obviously Bitcoin mining, I think Dash, um, even though it's, it's been out of stock for months if not years uh, ethereum out of stock litecoin out of stock monero and zcash so really it's only bitcoin they offer when it was in stock so i think that they they often come back in stock with Bitcoin. i mean the ones that i've seen mainly come back online is bitcoin ethereum and that's really about it i mean i've hardly seen dash come on so i mean is it worth it now you can look at some of these price plans. Normally, this indicator will let you customize a price plan um, of mining power. So the first thing I would always do is look at you know how much hash rate they're giving you. Um, let's take, for example, a mid-range hash rate of five terahashes at two hundred fifty dollars. Now, this is a two-year mining contract, and obviously, to note is maintenance fees apply. So we need to look at what that will be. Um, I think if you scroll down here, it tells you a maintenance fee is deducted from all two-year contracts for their full routine. A current maintenance fee is 14 cents, well, 14 cents of a dollar per terahash. So you need to think about, <clears throat> they will be deducting um, obviously five times 14 uh, so, um, per day. So that may not sound a lot, but you also need to work out how much you're going to be making a day. And if you simply go to Google, type it, type in crypto mining calculator, uh, it will. This website I've used before called Crypto Compare. Uh, it's very simply just put in your hash rate. So if we're doing it for Bitcoin, uh, let's do it for five terahash. Uh, power consumption. Let's just keep that as zero. Um, this is keep cost per kilowatt zero as well. <clears throat> so this is a contract um, which is two hundred and fifty dollars for the year. So obviously at the moment Bitcoin is quite low. Uh, if we switch back here, it's three thousand. It's dropped today. It's Christmas. I expect a lot of people to be possibly pulling out or not really entering the market, taking some profits. Um, you know, buying presents last minute or even just um, not trading today. Uh, if we put it into dollars, it's yeah, it dropped below four thousand. It's three thousand eight hundred dollars. So at the moment, yeah, Bitcoin is obviously not as high as it was before. But um, two hundred fifty dollars to enter 
on this basis, you know, you're looking to make $342 per year on its current price. Now you'll over the year you'll you'll mine something like a measly 0.08. And obviously you need to then take into consideration your mining fee and difficulty. Now you know, it looks like you're going to be making a bit of profit at the end of the year. But if you take away the fact that, you know, you're probably giving away maybe about 60, you know, around 60 or 70 cents a day, every day. So if you worked it out, 60, let's just say it's 70 cents a day, you times it by 7, that's, um, sorry, my maths is terrible. I don't know what's going on here. Um, it's $4.90, sorry. A week so oh, happy merry christmas um so four dollars ninety a week on um maintenance fees so now you're looking at you know a, a two dollar a two dollar profit per week and then obviously that's going to reduce over the month so if you're looking at like even let's say lower figure of four dollars um, a week over over a month that's looking at $20 a month now. So now you're only making $8. And this is where the catch can lie. So, you know, the idea is, um, you know, to do your research on, on mining. Now, is that profitable? Not at the current price of Bitcoin. Now, <clears throat> obviously, if Bitcoin was to shoot up to, you know, $50,000, um, and uh, we did a quick calculation of um, 50,000 times 0 0.089. <clears throat> so you're looking at $4,450 over the year, minus your maintenance fees. But obviously, your maintenance fees will be still remaining at that level of uh, $0.14 cents, um, per day over five terahashes so you know so let's just work it out correctly now i've got it up so yeah 0 0.7 if you times up by seven Oops, where my calculator go yeah four dollars ninety a week if you times up by four yeah look at nineteen dollars so and then you times that by twelve that's two hundred thirty five dollars minus three four two oh, no, this is not the correct way but you're looking at a profit $106 over the year. Now, obviously, on that basis, it's really not worth it. You might just go buy 0.089 of Bitcoin at the moment, um, you know, on the basis of it being um, $3,800. It'll cost you $338. So, you know, <clears throat> not massively higher than what they're offering out. And they will have that straight away. And obviously the other thing that you, you need to consider is this $342 is based on today's difficulty. Now difficulty obviously can go down. And as we've seen from um, the recent price correction um, in Bitcoin, a lot of miners have turned off their mining equipment. And obviously Bitcoin is very smart. It has recalculated the difficulty level uh, going by the uh, hash rate out there globally so it's obviously reduced its difficulty but you know that will go up if the price was going to go up um, of Bitcoin then miners come back on and people start mining and hash rate um, goes up which means difficulty also goes up too so you know you may not end up with $342 at the end of the year if you're going to work on if the current prices were going to remain the same it will probably go down and as we're expecting a uh, bull run next year you're not going to end up with $342. Um, no, I don't want to sign in. Thank you very much. So you really need to understand what you're buying into. And obviously, some of them also have lifetime contracts. And that lifetime only depends on things like, um, is it profitable to mine? Now, if the costs of electricity or mining fee outweigh the cost of profitability, then your contract will end and it's pretty much written in a small print that they will you know terminate your contract there's been a lot on genesis mining i think hashflare is another one which has mentioned things where um 
profitability hasn't been very good and they've ended people's contracts you know they've had lifetime contracts and they've ended those contracts so you also need to be very very careful and also I believe if which you need to do your own research on this if you change from proof of um, proof of work to proof of stake then I believe your um, your contract will end. So things like Ethereum contracts, and I think I, I believe Ethereum wants to move on to a proof of stake, where you know you stake your um, Ether, Ether uh, around thirty two Ether, which is what I'm hearing on the blockchain, and obviously you get return for that. And that that obviously mean the way they're changing the uh, the infrastructure, that mining will be possible. Um, so yeah, you really need to do your research if you're going to go into a two-year, you know, five-year contract with that. I mean, it's just, uh, I just can't see personally, in my opinion, how you're going to profit over five years of that $1,200. You might as well, on that basis, go and invest $1,250. You know, you take um, that money into Bitcoin and you're probably going to get like a 0.4 of a Bitcoin now. As opposed to waiting for five years, where the we know in 2020 um, the difficulty is going to double for for Bitcoin. So you're saying you're not going to get back um, anyway anywhere return of 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 of, um, of that amount. So you know, be careful out there. Understand what you're doing. Read through um, another company. If you don't want to pay for mining, there are the websites. Um, you know, MinerGate is a good one. It's just a, a desktop app which you can have on a Mac and Windows. Um, and I believe they might obviously offer things like Linux um, software as well. So what do they offer? They offer uh, if we can find it. Yeah, Windows, Mac, Ubuntu, um, and it's just a desktop app which uses CPU power as well as GPU. But the GPU power depends on. Um, what graphics card you have now I have a I think I have an Nvidia card and it doesn't work on Nvidia I think it only works in ATI or other way around so you know and then you can mine Monero you can mine Ether um, Ethereum Classic I think they still have got Bitcoin on there um, obviously you're not going to be making hundreds if not tens of dollars a day or pound it's going to be a lot less because um, obviously these are you know, Zcash is, you know, quite high in terms of its price, so you're not going to be making anywhere near a 0.1 per day Bitcoin, unless you've got a super beefed up machine with 1080 Ti cards or the new ones, you really going to waste electricity. Um, Bitcoin used to be kind of profitable, you know, I could I could mine thousands a day, um, and obviously since that hit, um, Binance and obviously I think it subsequently fell off Binance it's a lot harder to mine um, but yeah I mean th this is not bad if you've got spare GPU power or spare CPU power and maybe live in an area which you don't pay much le for electricity this is just free and simple it's cheap you don't need to worry about it you just have it running when you're not using it and maybe you might make a couple of dollars a day or something like that uh, again please look at your own electricity costs because obviously again you might end up out outweighing the uh, the uh, liability against the uh, asset in terms of your cost of electricity versus the cost of profitability but again we expect these to go up so that's something I do use actually and then you get other sort of uh, CPU and GPU miners um, depending on which platform you have this it's kind of limited on max you have maybe things like Asteroid miner, which is which is okay. It's a lot of um, SHA twenty six, SHA two five six mining, like Bitcoin and Litecoin and Dogecoin. Um, again, it's kind of more profitable or makes more sense if you've got a good GPU. Um, you know, don't expect to be making money on a five hundred twelve megabyte GPU. You need a something like a ten eighty or a ten eighty Ti to to even get anywhere in decent hash rate. Um, as usual, please you know do your own research. If you've got any questions or any comments to make about cloud mining, if you found it quite profitable or any suggestions you guys have for anything decent, please obviously uh, mention in the comments below. And obviously, please subscribe and um, 
you know, I'll continue to make more videos like this. Um, I just thought I'd make this video and make it my opinion or my uh, history or experience of cloud mining. Um, is it worth it? Is it not? In my opinion, I don't think it is. But of course, do your own research. And until next time, goodbye.